we collaborate with various R&D organizations, industry, as well as non-governmental organizations in different areas of software engineering research. This includes empirical software engineering, programming languages, formal methods in software engineering, HCI, education technologies, virtual reality, etc. One of our major goals is to connect to the society and provide solutions to the society. For example, we are working on problems like uh, visual acuity issues, uh, how to resolve them using virtual reality. We also look at how do we improve productivity of software developers. We look at how do we formalize algorithms so that we are able to establish better programming paradigms, etc. When Software Engineering Research Lab started in 2004-2005, the focus was on teaching software engineering effectively. We used things like role play, uh, case studies in order to make learning software engineering very exciting. That became our research area. We published papers, we consulted with industry, we wrote a book, and also brought very prestigious conferences to India, including CSEAT, uh, Conference on Software Engineering Education and Training in 2009, and also the most prestigious conference, ICSI, International Conference on Software Engineering in 2014 to India, to Hyderabad. Going forward, the focus of Software Engineering Research Center should be on developing methods, practices, in the era of AI and ML, where humans don't need to code at all. So this is we call Software Engineering 2.0. Uh, I'd like to talk in brief about my current research areas. Design of programming languages, the formal software architectures for concurrency, and pedagogy for computer science. Today, most AI and ML applications boil down to specifying computations on tensors. We are looking at designing specific languages for tensor computations. We are also interested in specifying concurrent programs using ideas from control systems. This work has led us to a new way of specifying software architectures that we are very excited. Also, how does one change the way we think of designing and teaching software engineering and computing? Can we move away from coding to modeling? Uh, my research is uh, about uh, how do you teach algorithms to undergraduate students of computer science. This is based on the pioneering work being done by Professor Venkatesh and uh, Professor Vishwanath. Uh, what we are trying to do here is uh, really take algodynamics pedagogical approach uh, where we have interactive systems and using those interactive systems we can teach algorithms and the cuts of the algorithms. As part of my research, I am going to do empirical studies of the classrooms and trying to understand how people are getting effectiveness out of this pedagogical approach. My work is about fine-grained approach to develop domain-specific search engines. Domain-specific search engines are known to perform better with unambiguous and credible content. As part of my work, I propose an approach to identify and extract subdomain content, extending a, an efficient meta-heuristic algorithm known as ABC algorithm. Further, this extracted content is used to enrich a seed ontology using context-sensitive algorithms such as bidirectional LSTM and transformer models like universal sentence encoder. The work also includes identification of surface, content, and off-page features to assess web credibility based on genres with flexibility for user intervention. The work on domain-specific search engine is used to build information security search engine. This work on information security search engine is known as SIREN and is funded by Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. Virtual Labs is a consortium project of over 11 leading institutes and a repository of over 1,400 online experiments in 13 disciplines of science and engineering and it's for college students across India, available 24 by 7 since January 1st, 2020. Virtual Labs has had over 30 million page views and over 4 million visitors. IIIT Hyderabad has been involved since the project's inception in 2010. It has contributed more than 250 online experiments. The Virtual Labs Engineering Architecture and Design Wing, a dedicated team, performs all the common platform engineering tasks like hosting experiments, analytics, code versioning, and optimizing performance continuously. 
My research with Professor Nori investigates on how software and systems lifecycle processes can be digitally reimagined, leveraging AI techniques. Currently, the automation support for software development lifecycle at SDLC is very limited and depends on human expertise. We induce intelligence into SDLC, build an intelligent software process infrastructure for machine-first deliverables and then solution generation. We have built prototype implementations and validated on industry products and solutions. I work in Virtual Human Interaction Research Group at SERC. I am a PhD research scholar under Professor Y. Raghuriti. My primary research area is into requirement gathering in virtual reality product development. I am working towards developing a taxonomy for building efficient requirement specification language and eventually aid and ease VR product development. My research mainly focuses on building a customizable and accessible head mount device. The idea is to create a virtual reality headset that is able to diagnose the visual acuity disorders using VR applications. The, with the help of uh, Maker's Lab, I am able to access the 3D printers. Because of that, I am rapidly able to test and validate the prototype for HMDs. I am building a solution to allow continuous locomotion in room scale virtual environments. Essentially, it's a path generation algorithm. When the user walks on the projected path, they feel like walking in a space larger than the physical area in which the VR is set up. There can be multiple use cases ranging from healthcare interventions to gaming. So overall, there's a lot of research work that's being done. If you're interested in being a part of SERC, please visit our website at serc.iit.ac.in.